right, women's world tour race on the weekend, Crescent Vagarda team time trial. So I've done a couple of analysis of the men's team time trials, but never the women's. So you can see the results here. Bowles Dormans took the win, um, 53.08, and uh, team someone have been second, 16 seconds back, and Savella Biglia, 47 seconds back. We then have pretty big gaps, 125, and then the rest of them are really, really far back. But anyway, so there's no segment for the whole thing, but here's a little bit of the segment. It's sort of going 58, 53 k's an hour, more or less. I don't quite understand why this song, they might have been motor pacing or something, because they didn't do that well in the actual time trial. But anyway, so we have a couple people's results here. As you can see, we've got Brody Chapman's, so we've got Lucinda Brands, uh, and we also have Leanne Lippert. Um, so I'm going to look at, I guess, probably Team Sunweb first, um, just to show... What sort of speeds they're doing so you can see here she finished with a time of 58.44 which obviously means that Lucinda Brand did her work early and then swapped off as you can see here she averaged 242 watts at this time so her normalized was probably more like 270 to 80 I would predict and you can see it's a, a decently lumpy course but nothing you know nuts but it's more interesting just trying to figure out what sort of turns they're doing on the front so you sort of look for these parts here where it's sort of a decent turn so you know 300 watts for 40 seconds more or less um, I mean, that was up a slight climb, so maybe she wasn't necessarily doing a turn on the front. Here, you can see there's definitely a turn on the front, and again, about 300 watts for 20 seconds. So, you can see they're probably aiming for maybe 300 to 330 watts on the front um, of the team time trial. So, you know, not absolutely nuts watts. Again, 300 watts for 46 seconds, but I think that was similar. Um, you can see here, she's obviously doing some longer turns here. 290 watts for 53 seconds, so up a slight drag. Um... But obviously the team time trial is hard to tell here. Again, is a little acceleration, 475 watts for 10 seconds. So you can see it's it's a very um, fluid discipline at the team time trial. It's not as defined, it seems, the women's as the men's. Like the men's is really obvious when they're doing efforts and really obvious when they're not. So you can see here at the end, heart rate gets up quite a lot. I think she must just do one last turn when she really empties the plug. Yeah, two minutes at 290 watts. So you can see that was up the climb. So she must have... She's maybe on the front or just hanging on on the climb and then at the top said, you know what, cheerio, because they're going 30 k's an hour, no, 29 k's an hour for 4% gradient, so that's pretty solid. And then she just cruised in for the rest. Um, you can also, you can see here though, like on the downhill here, she recovers pretty well um, and she does get up to 183 beats a minute, which seems to be, you know, more or less her max. I think here she gets up to maybe 187. But anyway, so that's, I'd say, to sort of dominate on the team trial, you need to do 270 watts maybe um here's leanne lippert who only did 35 kilometers so maybe her gps like broke or something i'm not quite sure um but you can see she was again did about 235 watts a lot of accelerations in the middle um a couple of turns here more or less 300 watts for again 15 seconds so that seems to be somewhere there's about 300 watts for 20 seconds more or less on the front um we now go over to Brody chapman who obviously did a, a far greater work she was probably driving her team a lot more just because they're not as strong um, there's not too much variations. You can see 260 weighted average power, so it always reads a little less than normalized. So maybe 270 normalized and 250 average. So it's not crazily um, stochastic. You can just see there are a lot of accelerations around this part. And when you zoom in, you'll see it's just because in here, they're in this sort of city center. Obviously, a lot of accelerations around here to get up to speed and all the rest of it. It's hitting 656, 700 watts almost. And you can see here's a classic Brady Chapman sort of turn. So again, 320 watts for 30 seconds. So you can really see Brody Chapman was driving this a lot some more. Um, but maybe, you know, they didn't have the cohesiveness. The time trial position probably wasn't as good as Sunweb um, because Sunweb would definitely have a lot more money than Team Sibco. Um, but anyway, it's still very solid watts. Again, two, 300 watts for 20 seconds. So you can see what sort of turns these, these girls are pulling. Um, and going 45 k's an hour. Again, we have Louise Norman Hansen, not super uh, useful. And we have Cassia Pavloska, um, who... Again, did similar, worked hard, and then just chilled out, basically, after the last part. Um, and she was on the limit. You can, I don't know, the heart rate seems very low, uh, but maybe maybe that's just the way it was. Maybe her heart rate's not reading properly. But again, she's probably a little bit lighter, so not as important. But on this segment here, you can see sort of 50 k's an hour on the downhill. Um, and overall, 48 k an hour average. Unfortunately, none of the Bulls Dormans, I believe, posted, which is a bit sad. Um, you can see some of them posted, but from last year, I believe, um, but this is all this year. So anyway, I hope this is interesting um, for the team time trial. It's, it's a very solid discipline. One of those ones where if you're, if you're very good at the 
discipline of swapping off, making sure you don't go too hard, not too much surging, you can gain a lot of time and the power isn't necessarily representative of how um, fast you're gonna go. Like a team time trial, I guess, you wanna go the fastest you can uh, with the least amount of power possible because you wanna save all the power. Like if, if you have loads of people doing power, like spiking at the end of a turn, then that's irrelevant. Um, and off the start, you always see them spike up to like 700 watts, get up to speed and then just start cruising about 45, 50 Ks an hour. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope this was enjoyable and I'll see you in the next one.